Hello friends, this is Carmen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a quick tour of my living room and show you some of the changes I've made in the last few weeks. So stay tuned for that. So one of the first changes I've made is this curtain rod that I put in my front window here and I wanted to utilize this space here for my hanging plants. I saw this idea on Pinterest and I thought that is brilliant. So I went out and got a curtain rod and I got the um, extended uh, braces, brackets there so it would hang out about six inches from the wall, from the window, so the blinds would not be touching uh, the plants, or at least, uh, you know, the leaves getting caught in them and stuff. As you can see by some of the patchwork up there, it took me a little while to get it up there, so I did cover up the holes and um, got it up there. It's pretty secure, but it'll work for now. Um, so the plants I have hanging up here are my philodendron uh, Brazil, my spider plant, and a Senecio string of beads, my Hoya, and a uh, arrowhead plant that I've had for quite a while. So all the macrame that I had purchased is coming into use there and I really love it. Now as far as watering this up here, all of these plants um, don't take a whole lot of water right now going into winter. So I'm kind of backing off on the watering, but they um, are above plants that if it, when it does drip out, it'll fall onto the plants below or they have a dish. Uh, that will catch it. So I haven't had any issues with that. I do have to kind of jimmy up here on top of the sofa to, to get to them, but that's not too often, so I don't, I don't view it as a big deal. So the plants that I have down here in this uh, sofa table, actually I'll leave a link to this table in my description box. I got it off of Amazon and it's been a lifesaver to put plants here. I have my golden pothos there. This is a Pelea involucrata and a Dracaena, Song of India. I did replant my ZZ plant into something smaller um, because it just wasn't um, growing enough. I think the pot I had it in was a little too big. So I put it here in a smaller pot. I have um, cylindrical Sansevieria there and the Peperomia parallel plant. I repotted this one too and brought it up closer to the uh, window because it wasn't doing too well, lost some leaves, but I think it's gonna be okay there. So these plants, um, all of them except for the golden pothos are new to this area here. I do move my plants around a lot, um, especially now go going into winter and bringing some plants in as I bring more plants into my collection, I end up moving them around quite a bit. So here in the corner, if you've been with my channel for a little while, you will know that there used to be a bird cage here, but unfortunately, little Darcy uh, escaped and it was my fault. I feel so guilty about it even to this day. Um, he did get out and we were not able to find him. So we got rid of the bird cage and that opened up some uh, space here for some more plants and within a month or so we'll probably put the Christmas tree here too. So I have my uh, mother-in-law's tongue sensevaria there. That's in the pot that was holding the ZZ plant. I exchanged that out and it is on a pillar there that holds um, large candles. I used to have that on on the balcony. I brought that in. And Chinese Evergreen, Maria Chinese Evergreen. And corn plant here. Corn stuff. So that's doing really well also. New growth under there. So I've got kind of um, three different heights here in the, and I like to do things in threes and stagger the heights that really helps in uh, 
Sam, do you mind? Okay, I think they've stopped barking for now, at least until somebody else walks by the window and they... I really think that they believe the outside area here is their yard. Look at them. And somebody is walking in their yard. That's why they bark. Anyways, so I like stacking things in threes, combining them in threes, and then staggering the height so that really helps the eye move up. And um, it's just something that I've always done and it seems to work. I do have my arrowhead plant right here. And I've put it here uh, in this little corner of our desk. Seems to be doing okay here. Gets not a whole bunch of light, but uh, seems to be doing okay. I'm a little concerned about that leaf right there, but we'll see how it does. Easy, easy peasy plant to take care of. Here's one that I almost forgot. This is um, another Sensibaria. Sensibaria. Oh, God, it's on the tip of my tongue. Fernwood Mikado. That's it. And this is doing really well. It's growing. I've noticed that the leaves here are longer. Just like uh, other Sensibaria, super, super easy plant to take care of. Low maintenance. Not fussy at all. This is a new plant I don't believe I've shared with you. Got this at Lowe's on clearance. It is a, well the tag said a big leaf philodendron. I don't know, it kind of looks like it might be a xanadu. But I potted it up and propped it up on this stand and put it by the uh, patio door here. And they were selling it as an outdoor plant, but I have it indoor here by the window. And it seems to be doing okay. So we'll see how that one does. I have started to bring things in from outside, from the patio. These are my two adiniums, desert roses. Um, they go dormant in the wintertime and they do not like temperatures below 55. And we have been starting to get overnight temperatures in the 50s so I went ahead and brought them in and put them in here in front of the patio window and that's where they will um, spend their winter I'll start backing off quite a bit on the watering and let them go dormant for the winter in the springtime I will repot them and move the plant up in the pot and in an attempt to try and encourage the codex to thicken up. Um, I have not repotted these since I got them a year and a half ago. So in the springtime, when they start coming out of dormancy, that'll be the time that I do that. And hopefully that will encourage the codex to get bigger. Uh, this one's not too bad as far as thickness, but this one here I think is just a little, a little narrow. I'd like it to be thicker. So the, I'll be doing that in the springtime. Okay, coming over here to um, the bar area of my kitchen. I have this shelving here that I've had for a year and a half now and I love this shelving um, because I'm always uh, able to uh, change it around, change the height of the shelving if I want to and it just looks looks really good. It's, it's made out of bamboo. Um, and I've got some things here. This is usually a transition area for some plants whether they're um, new cuttings that have been planted or things that may be struggling. I put them here with the grow light. Um, some things that I'm going to be bringing uh, from the patio, patio inside for the winter, I'll probably put them here. But I've got a baby Monstera there, a couple more Sinsevarias here, um, my Ficus bonsai. And this is a cutting from my walking Kalinkoe. I did a video on that. I'll put a link below to it. This is a little um, plantlet that it gave off and it's rooting there. So that's doing really well. And I brought some Haworthias in too. It's not much light there. So I brought those in. And then above here, my starfish sensevaria is going nuts. 
I should have measured it when I first got it to see how long those those spikes are, but it is really, really growing. Um, I'm considering separating them. There's three plants in there, and so I'm considering separating them to see, um, you know, if that will help the other spikes grow because it seems like one of them in each one is growing more than the other, so we'll see. This is what's left of my money tree. Um, you may remember in one of my previous videos I was having trouble uh, with my money tree that the braided uh, trunk parts of the uh, braids were rotting. So I had to take it apart because I just couldn't save it. But I do have it here and it is rooting and it's doing really, really well. So once it gets some more roots, I will plant that up. And um, I'm glad I was able to save a piece of it because I really did like that tree. And my prayer plant, I moved it here. I finally hung it. So I moved it to this area here. It was over there in the uh, sofa table in front of the window, but the dogs were just rubbing up against it. And I was just afraid that they were gonna tear it apart. So um, I brought it over here and hung it, and it's doing really well. It's one of my favorite plants. My golden pothos from a cutting is doing well. Well, there you have it, friends. That is a quick tr uh, tour of my uh, living room and dining room and uh, what I've changed around and what I've added as far as new things uh, to hold my plants. I hope you like my <laughs> my curtain rod idea there. Let me know in the comments down below if you've done something like this or something creative to uh, hang your hanging plants. Okay. If you haven't already, friends, please do subscribe to my channel. I try to upload at least once or twice a week. And we have a wonderful plant community here where we really help each other out and how to grow our plants. And with the gardeners outside and their lawnmowers, that is my cue to end this video. Thanks so much, friends, for joining me today. Have a blessed day.